Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to reveal eight bad habits which make you play much worse in your table tennis matches. Some of these bad habits are things I do myself. Other bad habits are things I observe other players do, but they're all bad habits. And let's see how many of these bad habits you have. If it's just one or two, you're doing okay. If it's six or seven bad habits, there's quite a lot of things that you need to fix. Okay, let's have a look at all these bad habits. The first bad habit is reaching for the ball. Some players like to just stand in the middle of the table and then when the ball goes over there, uh, they reach. Can't play a very good shot when you're reaching like that. Same thing this side. Uh, you might get to the ball, but shot quality is going to be really low. How do you fix this bad habit? Well, we've got to get into the habit of moving. Ball goes to the wide backhand position, move, play the shot in front of the body, you're gonna play a much better backhand. If the ball goes to the forehand position, move, and you're gonna be able to play a better quality forehand shot. Um, so it's quite an easy fix, but it makes a huge difference. If you just reach out for the balls, your shot quality is gonna be much worse. So you've gotta make sure you move. Bad habit number two is trying to hit the ball uh, too hard, uh, too often, okay? Now players who often just try to whack the ball all of the time, um, when, it, when they make the shot, <laughs> it tends to be a winning shot, but they usually miss way more than they get on. So they're fairly inconsistent. And in table tennis, there's only so much power you actually need to you know, often hit a winner. So if you change from going from 100% power ah, and just reduce it to maybe like 80% power, what you'll find is, is that your consistency will improve massively, okay? And you'll still be hitting winning shots. It is not necessary to absolutely blast your opponent's head off, okay? Reduce the power, go for good placement, and you'll find that you win a lot more points. Bad habit number three is ball watching. You've played a good shot and then you stop. You watch your own shot. Oh, wasn't that a good shot? And then the ball comes back, but you're too busy watching your own shot. You didn't recover properly and all of a sudden, ah! You're out of position, you're late to react and you mess the next shot up. So to fix this, I think there's a very easy thing that you can do. Um, no matter how well you play a shot, you keep telling yourself that the ball is coming back. You expect the ball to come back every time. That forces you to recover properly, to then observe your opponent to see what shot they're playing, and then you can play another attack if necessary. Bad habit number four is gripping the bat too tightly. This is very common at the amateur level. Some players, they really strangle the handle. And what happens when you grip too tightly? Well, your wrist locks up, okay? You lose the ability to use your wrist. Your shots become jerkier. Um, you have less feeling, less control, okay? So a really tight grip um, can make you play much worse. Loosen the grip. We want a nice loose grip. It should be kind of loose enough that someone could just take the bat out of your hand, okay? That's a nice loose grip. Now when it's loose, you can now use your wrist for your forehand, for your backhand. When you're pushing, you have much better feeling. You're able to generate much more spin. Everything is better when you have that looser grip. Bad habit number five is serving with no purpose. Some players, they just grab the ball straight on with the serve, don't think about it, and then they're really surprised when the ball comes back in a way that they weren't really expecting. You need to take your time when you're serving. 
have a think about what type of serve it is that you're doing. Are you putting backspin on the serve? Are you putting topspin on the serve? Are you doing it short? Are you doing it long? If you think it through, you'll start to work out how your serves are likely to be returned. Then you can start using serves which suit your game much more. Whatever it is that you do, have a plan about it. Don't just come to the table, put the ball into play without thinking. Put a strategy behind it. What serve are you gonna do? Where do you need to recover to? What shot ideally do you want to play next? Then you start to develop a much stronger service game. Bad habit number six is pushing long balls. I do this all the time. So your opponent gives you some backspin, some long backspin, and instead of attacking, you decide to play safely and go for a push. Now what's wrong with that? Well, it's okay up to a level, you know, you can get away with keep pushing if you want, but if you really want to improve, if you want to get better and play at a higher level, anytime your opponent pushes and that second bounce is coming off the end of the table, try to top spin it. Okay, then you're gonna develop those shots, you're gonna feel much more confident, and honestly, you then start raising your level. You start beating players who maybe you struggled against in the past. Bad habit number seven is predictable ball placement. So when you play your backhand, if you always play it cross court in that direction, and when you play your forehands, you always play cross court in that direction, it becomes much easier for your opponent to know what it is you're going to do. What should you do instead? Well, you do the opposite. You vary your ball placement. When you play your backhand, if you vary it between playing cross court, down the line, to the middle of the table, it's gonna be much harder for your opponent to predict what it is you're going to do. Same thing on the forehand. You could play your forehand cross court, you could play it down the line, you could play it to the middle. You'll be amazed at how effective this is and how much more difficult your opponents will find it to play against you. And finally, bad habit number eight. Probably the most common bad habit amongst amateur table tennis players, at least 80% of amateur table tennis players have this bad habit. And this bad habit is standing too upright. And I am also very guilty of this. When you stand too upright, it makes it harder to move from side to side. It makes it harder to attack backspin balls. It makes it harder to put a lot of uh, dynamic energy into your shots. It makes it harder to move forwards. It makes it harder to move backwards. So much about why we end up playing poorly in table tennis is so often related to the stance of getting upright, too upright, okay? What should we do instead? Well, we need to get into a proper table tennis stance. We need to get ourselves much lower. We need to have the bend in our knees, leaning forward, have that little bit of bounce. From this stance, you're able to move from side to side a lot easier. Looping backspin balls becomes much easier. Getting a lot more energy into your shots becomes much easier. Your whole game raises up a level. Um, so if you find yourself playing bolt upright, bad, bad habit. Try to get yourself low, bend those knees, then you'll find that you can play much better table tennis. Thank you very much for watching. How many of those bad habits do you have? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel or take a look at some of these other videos that I've made. Okay, I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.